Hey coach, so glad you found us on YouTube. Couple things, first of all, make sure you subscribe and like. Second thing is go check t -troops at, check out ttroops.com for coaches who wanna get better. It is a roadmap of someone that's done this for 30 plus years. Let me help you with that roadmap. I've already done it, I've put pictures in my gym. Let me help you uh, spend less time, win more games. Go over and check out teachhoops.com. All right, welcome to Coach Unplugged uh, today. Before we jump in and talk to Coach, I'd like to give a big shout out to our two sponsors. First of all, Dr. Dish, the number one uh, shooting machine on the market, in my opinion. And Coach, this you'll find this funny. I was actually in the gym with my son this morning because we just got our new our new machine, which actually has a screen on it. It's really cool. Oh, wow. um, yeah. yeah. And the, the, so th literally just started playing with it because it came in this big, like, um, like Arc, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark big box kind of thing and you had under it. <laughs> but anyway, it, uh, it has a little, um, it almost looks like a button about the size of a quarter. Uh -huh. And then you can run the machine from that. Oh, Crazy. wow. Yeah, oh, so he clipped it like, on. Like, like you could you could hook it onto your t-shirt and run right. It he, well, yeah, it came with one of those little clips, so he hooked it onto a shirt, and then um, he could start it and stop it and run it from there. Wow, really cool. And obviously, then they have the screen and stuff. So I'm sure I'll dive into it more. I don't have much more than that to share at yeah. this point because I haven't dove into it. But um, mention it, Coach it, Unplugged. And you it, what, oh, I'm sorry. sorry. What? Go ahead. Uh, Go go ahead with your spiel. Sorry. No, no, that was my that was my uh, pitch for Doctor Dish. Then you get three hundred, you get three fifty off if you mention me. But go ahead, Coach. That's well, good. I was just gonna say that if you can purchase anything that reminds you of anything associated with Raiders of the Lost Ark, the greatest movie ever made, then I'll tell you a story. Better. This has nothing it's to do with basketball. But I'll tell you a story. Our school recently started back in person, and so they had to clear out rooms. Mm -hmm. So we have a we have a gym and then we also have a field house which has four courts. Mm -hmm. Several of the courts literally look like Raiders of the Lost Ark. That last scene when they're rolling down. Oh, you bet. Yeah. And they have the Nazi thing on the the Nazi thing on the side kind of gets burned off. Whatever. Yep. Yep. And they're they're gonna put it on a shelf somewhere. Yep. Literally, that's what those courts look like right now. It's like things. They, there's like no room on those two courts. We're trying to find one of my stools that I can sit on while I'm teaching. We can't find it. That's how packed it is. <laughs> we know where my stuff is. So if you if there would have been a camera in there, it would have been hilarious because the Don, who's our custodian, who's awesome, was helping me try to find it. And I'm I'm standing on top of filing cabinets and dad. I still can't find it. Don't know where uh, it is. It's been like 20 uh, years. Well, it looks like the US government is the only one that goofed that up then, you know. <laughs> but so. it's good. But yeah. no, I mean, I, I I love their machines and it, and they'll make you shooters. They might not make you scorers, like I said, but they'll definitely make you shooters. Um, and then go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Um, it what's allowed me to keep the lights on and uh, it allowed me to buy a. Uh, <laughs> so we're redoing our deck. This is what teachhoops allowed me to buy today. You'll love this, coach. Yep. Uh, it, it, we're, we ran on to do this in a, on a Saturday afternoon, but I'm having my deck redone. Which is, a, which is something on its own because we have a tree in the middle of the deck. Anyway, we, we finally figured out that the vent for the dryer is under the deck. <laughs> hey. So that's not super great, I don't think. So, <laughs> so when they ripped the deck off, I got like a two-day window where I got to get that vent cleaned and figured out how you know everything's going to kind of work. Sure. Um, so today I was on Amazon buying... I needed a new drill, so I bought a new drill. But I there, there's like thirty. You can get this like thing you put on a drill that will like basically clean your your. Oh, dryer. gotcha. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like a it's like a drill almost. So we'll see if it works. Maybe I'll make a YouTube video of it. Could be pretty comical. Coach Collins uh, trying to uh, do that. <laughs> or may, maybe you'll find maybe you'll find the Ark of the Covenant and put it back into your Ark I'll of the find, Covenant uh, uh, mean, government space there at your gym. I'm hoping I yeah, I'm hoping I don't find too much lint in there. I know we have dogs, so it could be yeah. it could be an ugly look. Um, but anyway, go check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. All right, so the reason we jumped on is is coaches running a clinic uh, May first. Yep. That, that's May Day, isn't that May Day? Yes, it is. I didn't yeah. even think of that. Yeah, didn't it's even May think Day. Of that. Yeah. Um, my grandma always used to make a big deal out of May Day. Um, she used to send us little things. She was an elementary school teacher and she used to draw pictures on May Day and send them to us anyway. Um, so I love May Day. Uh, but anyway, so tell me a little bit about the clinic. First of all, tell me how you decided to do it. 
and then tell me a little bit about the clinic and when it's where it's located all that kind of stuff so people that sure. are listening that are within driving distance yeah uh it was just kind of something that you know I'm, I'm sure you've done the same thing with with your stuff coach that all of a sudden an idea pops into your head and you're like yeah that might work right and sometimes you bounce it off uh two or three people uh bounce it off your wife or something like that and sometimes my wife will look at me and go you're a moron. That's the dumbest thing I could ever, you know, just don't do it right. or, or, Hey, that's a good idea. So, um, my theory kind of, with those kind of things, this is similar to coaching. My theory yeah. with that kind of thing is try it. Yeah. Just yeah. And, and that's what it came down to is, yeah. is, uh, you know, give it a go. And if it, and if it, uh, falls like a lead balloon, then, then it does, you know, and, and, you know, one thing you learn in coaching is you can't be afraid of failure. And, and you got to be willing to go out and try some, some new and different things. And, uh, with, with my, uh, podcast and, and the stuff that, uh, I I've done, uh, sometimes you put stuff out there and people like it more than they like others. And, and you learn, you live and learn and you move forward with it. So, yeah. And some of the stuff, well, first of all, I love, and we can, we'll do another podcast about your, some of the stuff you're doing, like the university stuff I saw on your, um, on your Twitter feed. We'll, we'll do another podcast about that at some point, okay. but um, so we can deep dive into it. <laughs> but I love that you're planning like two summers from right now. I don't <laughs> literally know what I'm having for dinner tonight. You're, that, that it literally made me chuckle out loud, coach. When I yeah. Said, oh my God, yeah. He's planning two summers from now. I'm not sure what we're doing with my team next Thursday. Like, yeah, <laughs> I thought that yeah, was pretty funny. That was, uh, again, it, it just started scribbling and started putting it together. And so threw that out, but we'll get, uh, yeah, it, I, I would really appreciate that. To yeah. We'll, we'll dive into that. That's a tease for, they call that in the, in the, in the, uh, radio biz, they call that a tease. We'll give you a tease on that one. We'll talk about that later. Um, yeah. so tell me about it. Okay. So you decided to do the clinic. Yeah. And it, yep, it was, and then- it was, uh, you know, literally for pretty much 18 months or so, nobody's been able to go to a coach's clinic. Um, and uh, I, I just kind of thought the, the time was right um, in the sense of the vaccinations were rolling out. Uh, we've, we've learned how to live with COVID uh, right. in, in large part. Uh, you know, some, some places uh, are, are more cautious than others and, and that's their right. And, and, and I'm not gonna uh, say what's right or ro- what's wrong. Uh, but I talked to our administration and, and they, you know, said, Hey, you know, that, that sounds like a, a, a good idea. Um, our gym is a pretty good sized gym for, a, for a smaller school. Uh, we've got a lot of space. And, and so I kind of bounced some, some things off of, of, you know, like I said, two or three people that I really trust and decided to go with it and reached out to, um, some people that, uh, I knew, or I, I believe we'll do a really, really good job as presenters and a couple of people that I've never even had even on my podcast yet, but I, but I know they've had, uh, they're, they're, they're building up some, some good programs and have some good ideas some good thoughts. And, um, you know, we're, we're going to, we're going to give it a go next Saturday and, or this coming Saturday. And, uh, yeah, that was kind of the impetus of it was more than anything else, uh, the camaraderie of, of being around other coaches and having right. the opportunity to bounce ideas off of other coaches and, and listen to other coaches. And uh, one of the unique things that we're doing with ours is uh, during the lunchtime, we're having some breakout sessions. And so you can go to this room and listen to this guy talk about this or this guy talk about that. Or we, we're, we're going to have one room where uh, coaches can just go and there's no topic. There's, there, there, hey, throw something out there and let's start, let's start yapping and throwing ideas off. Of okay, one so, so tell the people where you're located and, okay. and what's the closest airport. Hey, we, we've got a good sized airport here uh, okay. in, in Omaha. Uh, okay. the, the, the school that I coached at this year, and, and then I'll be teaching there next year as well is uh, Fort Calhoun high school, which is uh, just, it's about 15 minutes North of downtown Omaha. Uh, okay. It is, it is removed from the city. There's a good, seven miles of of uh highway if you will to connect the the interstate to to fort calhoun uh but it's only about 15 minutes away from epley airfield uh which i think epley's international so uh uh 
so it's it's a it's an easy drive from downtown Omaha. Um, so uh, we'll be we'll be we'll be going there. Um, we'll start at nine o'clock uh, Saturday morning, and we'll be going till till three o'clock in the afternoon. And then we're going to have a a uh, a place a, 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 an outside facility <laughs> for socialization afterwards. Fun. Folks or folks are thinking uh, thinking about sticking around for. A little while afterwards so okay so what um so tell me so i just looked it up and literally as we're talking um it's six hours from um it's six hours from madison basically wow. driving to omaha i wouldn't drive i would fly if i was coming yeah, yeah. um it, it, easy commute that's not a bad commute that's not a bad commute <laughs> yeah. i literally looked at flights are really cheap right now so that's yeah. uh, i'm telling people if they're hearing this on monday um I, geez, I could fly from Madison to Omaha for like like two fifty. That's uh -huh. not bad. That's um, not bad at all. No round trip. That's not bad. Um, yeah. yeah. So, because what I think is unique, coach, is you're one of the first clinics. Like, yeah. I literally, I think one of the first ones. I don't. I haven't heard of many that are. I heard of some that are coming, but I haven't heard of many early this early yet. Yeah, and and I thought it was a good time to do it uh, on the calendar kind of right before graduations really kick in right you know especially before the the summer the summer stuff for for high school coaches and the july aau period and all of that stuff um and so i thought the timing of it was a was a good time to have it as well and and we are fortunate uh, to be to be literally you know counting crows said omaha's right in the middle of america you know and so we we are literally uh right in the middle of the united states here and uh, the, like I said, that that, that was Warren part of the Buffett part. live in Omaha. He does. He, he, he does. Uh, yeah, um, he lives uh, about six miles away from where I live. Okay. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, you could literally. I mean, it's very public where his house is, and it's 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 right next to uh, uh, Nebraska Omaha University. He he lives maybe six or eight blocks away from, from Nebraska, Omaha. Well, that's which is cool. That's right cool. I'm sure that's, I'm sure that was part of his decision too, to be honest with you, how smart he is. He probably wanted to be close to the university. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, well, he bought that house way back in like the sixties or something like that. So he's been living there for like 60 years or so. And, and, uh, you know, uh, every time I've stopped over there, we've had a nice time, you know, me and the Oracle, you know, hanging out and I bounce a couple stock tips, uh, you know, ideas off of him. And he tells ask me him what, about, ask him about crypto the next time you talk to him. <laughs> I'm sure I'll, I'll have, write that down. I'm I'll sure write that I'll down. Have some stuff. Um, so tell me what you're talking about. Cause I know you're talking too. Yeah. I, I thought I'd put myself out there a little bit. Um, you know, it's first told time you, I'm coming next year, either next year or the year after I'm going to come, hey, I'll hey, make it work. We, we love all the Bucky the Badger fans. Come on down. Come on down. So, um, I'm talking about uh, two things, offensive uh, fundamental development uh, and then uh, youth program development. Um, and, and what I did as well is I put some stuff on my Twitter. Hey, we're doing this clinic. What are some things that you guys want to hear about? And, and one of the things that uh, coaches told us was, was youth program and, and skills for youth coaches. And, and so uh, one of the things when, when I was on my, I guess I'll call it sabbatical, um, I, I really looked at the game and, you know, I, I'd coached for 23 years straight and right. I wanted to, uh, you know, I, I, I put up a, a note card in my classroom or next to my desk and it said, gut the house. And, and I basically took everything that I did and, and I gutted everything. And I literally looked at every drill that was on my list of drills and all this other stuff. And one of the things that I realized and one of the things I, I adjusted with my own coaching philosophy was I tried to narrow the game down to about 11-ish core principles or core skills, you know, right. shooting, passing, you yeah. know, so forth and so on. And one of the things that I looked at was if a if we're going to do a, a drill in practice, it has to have at least three of those skills in the drill. Otherwise, we're not going to do it because right. kids' attention spans are not what it used to be. Um, they're the, in some ways, the adults kind of screw things up for the kids. We ask for more and more and more of them. And, and so we have less and less of their attention. Right. And I, I, you know what, here, here's what, here's what, when I've spoken at some clinics, I refer to it as a machine gun practice. Yeah. Because literally 
they live in a Snapchat, Twitter, blah 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 world. Yep. If if it's not if you're not moving, if you're just standing, it's done. Yep. Like you're yep. gonna lose them like fast. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, Absolutely. <laughs> and it's gotta go like ding, 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 ding. Yes. And the thing is, then you can have the fun at the end of practice. I'm sure. I mean, but you mm-hmm. when when I got them and they're focused and they're locked in, man, I just I, I want to get through it and like it's similar to teaching. It's like yep. I just when I got their attention, yep, let's go. Yeah, you run with it. So you run with it. So I I really narrowed down my my drill list, and um here's the we, I basically narrowed it down to like, here's nine really, really good drills that we're going to do. And we do little variations off of, off of about six of them. Okay. Um, but uh, it's good. You can do this stuff with, with fifth graders. We started doing it. Uh, when I took over my new job last summer, obviously COVID was at its peak. We could, we could barely do stuff with our high school kids, let alone our, our youth kids. Right. And so we have really started implementing these drills with our youth players this spring. And so it's stuff that you can do with second, third graders, and it's stuff that we do with our juniors and seniors as well. And so that's one of the, that's, you know, when it comes to the drill work stuff that I'm going to show, uh, we call it. Uh, our Milwaukee series because that's what we call our base offense is our Milwaukee offense and and kind of it's a high you know what we've tried to do is some stuff hybrid stuff between what Budenholzer does with the Bucks and what right. co- what Coach Hoiberg has done well, with uh, it's, it's easy to be the coach of the Bucks when you have the best player in the world shoot that is true that is true I could coach the Bucks like <laughs> well schematically <laughs> yes yeah, so, 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 here you go Giannis Let, yes. here you go I'll just yeah. go do what you have to do um, all right. So what are the, uh, do you, can you give me a, give, can you tell me what the other coaches are going to talk about too, other than your breakout sessions? You bet. Uh, we've got five other coaches speaking that day. Okay. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to take a look at my list here to make sure I get That's it okay. right. So um, we've got a guy named Joel Huger, uh, who's a terrific coach uh, here from Papillion La Vista South High School, uh, which is a suburb of Omaha. And he's going to be talking about shooting mm-hmm. and shooting drills. Okay. Um, and he does a terrific job. Probably some of your listeners have probably heard of Coach Huger. He's he's a pretty well known guy. Okay. Uh, JJ Stofel from Omaha Roncalli. Uh, he's a boys coach there. Uh, a couple of state runner ups. The last uh, two of the last three years, they finished a state runner up. And he's going to talk about. Oh, now I forgot. I wish I, I, wish I was coming because I'd have I'd buy him a couple beers. Runners up are horrible. I have four of them. I have three championships, but four runner up runner ups are the worst. I'm sorry. I don't care what you say. I will say, I will say what's even worse than that. Does your state have a third place game? No, we don't. They got rid of it. Thank goodness. That is the seventh circle of hell right there is the third place game. That is, that is the worst experience ever. So right. well, what, I mean, I would, I, I mean, I've lost in the, I've lost in the semis. I would not have wanted to play that game. No, send we, me home, we baby. Had, we had one experience with it, and it was awful. So, um, yeah, it was it was terrible. So, uh, but JJ is going to talk about um, out of bounds plays and special situations. Okay. And then uh, Jennifer Raggi, uh, she's the uh, girls' head coach at Elkhorn High School here in uh, it's a suburb of Omaha, and she does a terrific job with like shell drill and defensive concepts. And, and, and she's done it playing zone. She's done it playing man. She's done it all different ways. Um, And Jen and I went head to head against each other for about 12 or 13 years. So we need to know each other pretty well. And then in the afternoon, I'll be speaking. And then uh, Jason, Jason Isaacson from council bluffs, uh, council bluffs, Abraham Lincoln. Um, He's going to be talking about quick hitters and competitive team drills. And then uh, Drew Olson, is from Concordia University here in Nebraska. And he's, he's won, I think, one national championship at Concordia with the women. And he's been a uh, runner-up a couple of times. Uh, he's got a terrific program. And he's going to talk about full-court pressure defense and, and, and pressuring and, and uh, doing that type of stuff. Well, that would so, be awesome. So, yeah. so here's what I tell people with clinics, too. Those are all going to be really great topics. And you'll, get, you'll probably go home with a half a notebook of them. The, the best part is what I love what you're doing is the breakout sessions, but then sometimes you even learn more when you get together with the coaches after the clinic, I'm yeah. telling you, because all of a sudden, like 
the name of your podcast you basically get a piece of paper out or a napkin and you start drawing stuff up and it's like holy crud that's a good idea Ooh, i should do that like yeah. it, it's that um i don't know what i would i maybe it's, i refer to it as a brain dump it's kind of like all mm -hmm. these people get together and it's like you come up with all these great ideas so i think that's an awesome thing about these clinics too yeah yeah and 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 you know that's kind of the informal part of 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 being part of a clinic you know, especially like if you do something like an overnighter, which uh, like championship productions has right. done before and that type of thing, uh, we're just kind of formalizing. The and are you having knowledge. players on the floor? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're, awesome. uh, yeah, we're, 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 we're going to get, uh, uh, we're, we're still finding them. <laughs> well, the uh, hardest part is the hardest part sometimes is to find the players. And then I know coaches are sick of zoom clinics and all this kind of stuff. Yes. All that stuff is great, but it's not the same. It's just not, yeah. the same. you need, you yeah. need to at least when I've done it, it's so net. When you have players and you can show angles and things like that, it's, you know, a magnet on a board can only do so much, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So that'll be good. That'll be good for, uh, for, for the coaches to, to be able to, again, see those kids on the, on the floor and, and, and work with live bodies and, and, and talk and have people understand and, and see it play out as, as yeah, we I go. Think, so. I think that's going to be really good. So what I'll do is I'll put all of this down in the show notes too. Um, coach, so that when people want it, I'll put your contact stuff and my contact stuff. So if anyone has any questions on it, um, you can you come and show up and register at the door or do you have to do it beforehand? You know, in a perfect world, uh, it'd be great if you registered beforehand, but we're not going to turn anybody away. Okay. Um, the, the vendor that's, that's, that's supply and lunch for us. I, I taught five or six of his kids. So I, I, bring I enough think, food. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I think he'll bail, he'll bail me out. We'll just get a couple more Godfather's pizzas if, okay. if we need to. So okay. we'll get it taken care of. So we'll get if you want to show it up that day, it, you know, perfect world. We'd love to have you um, to uh, register by Thursday. So I can kind of get the, the biggest thing is getting the food order taken care of. Right. But we'll, we'll figure it out. I don't want to turn anybody away. Uh, my whole thing with, with what I've done with a pen and a napkin and that type of thing, we want to help coaches hone their craft. Right. And, 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 that's what we're looking to do here with the clinic is to help coaches hone their craft. And, and if you come away with just a couple of good ideas, it'll be well worth your time. And we're trying to do it at an affordable price. No, I think it is. I think it's great. And if you're looking for a reason to get out of the house, man, there, here's your reason right now, go buy it, go buy the ticket. I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to put this up on Sunday. So everybody gets it coach. So thank you for, thank you for taking, you know, a little time out of your Saturday to do this. I really appreciate it. No problem. Uh, coach, thanks so much for, for the help you've given me. Uh, you know, we've been able to talk a couple of times and, and your, uh, your help with uh, educating me on how kind of the, the side hustle works uh, has, has helped me out a lot. So, so thank you for all that. You're you've welcome. You're welcome. Well. It's like, yeah, I, I know. It's like the podcasting part's the easiest part for me. It's all the other stuff that um, I, I was just, I literally was talking to my mom this morning and I, she says, I text you. I said, send it to me. So it's in my inbox. So I remember to do it. Otherwise, like, I'm similar to that machine gun practice. I got like 80 things fl floating in the air at one time. I'm just trying to juggle them all. So yeah, yeah. Um, in an ideal world, we'd have done this sooner, but uh, at least we're going to get it up. So I appreciate it, coach. I really do. Greatly appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Thank Steve. You. Hey coach, hope you're enjoying the video. If you do, hit like down below. That helps us a ton um, being found on YouTube. Second thing is make sure you go over and check out and subscribe and check out that little bell up above. That will get you notified every time a new video goes up. Um, and then go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better.